All right. Welcome back to another video. This next video was recorded by a man named Javier from Argentina. Javier says that he was. Welcome back to another video. We're getting straight into this. We're going to be posting up. Try to be posting every once in a while now. More than more than often now. Trying to take this stuff serious. You know. I got to be looking with this shit. Alright. Alright to my squad. Y'all be just tuning in. Y'all for real. You ruins. Don't mind that, that noise. Smokey's just playing with something off to the side. But uh. We're going get, to get started here worried about his friend Antonio as he hadn't heard from him in a while. So he drives over to Antonio's house to check up on his friend. Javier bangs on the front door. No one answers. He calls out Antonio's name. Again, no answer. So Javier falls into Antonio's backyard and goes to the back door of the house. For some reason, the door is open. Fearing the worst, Javier goes inside to investigate. What happens next is downright chilling. Antonio! Antonio! Antonio, soy yo. Javier. Oh, did that door just close? Hey. Join large scale battles with military vehicles. The online action game War Thunder. Hey, loco! Soy Javier, boludo! Che, loco, ¿sos vos? Ya fue, boludo! Vine a ver qué onda, ¿cómo andás? ¿Estás bien? Che, hey, loco, si yo voy a salir. ¿Escuchan eso? Javier doesn't know what is going on. And what do you guys think just happened? Let me know down below. He doesn't want any part of it. He decides to just leave the house and call the police. But just as he's about to exit, he hears a strange sound from somewhere behind him. The next 30 seconds are like something right out of a nightmare. Said his name, dog. Ain't no way I'm living there, bro. Some ghost saying my name. No, fuck that. Did you see it? A door swings open by itself, and some. I just seen eyes. You seen that? One or something with glowing eyes seems to peek over the upper glass of the door, seven feet in the air. Javier has had about enough and just makes a run for it. He says that whoever or whatever this was, it certainly was not his friend Antonio. After calling the police over to the residence, Javier learns that his friend has tragically passed away inside the house. 
just behind that door that he couldn't open. Javier is so upset and confused by the whole ordeal that he just can't let it go. He decides to return to Antonio's house in search of answers. It did not go well. Esta la pieza. Wait, yeah. what just happened? What did you say? say, say what did you say? Defense can't let it go. Passed away. Police over to the residence. Not his friend Antonio. Whatever this was, it certainly was not his friend Antonio. After calling the police over to the residence, Javier learns that his friend has tragically passed away inside the house, just behind that door that he couldn't open. Javier is so upset and confused by the whole ordeal that he just can't let it go. He decides to return to Antonio's house in search of answers. It did not go well. Esta la pieza. Mierda. La laucha. Hay un poco de, de escalofrío estar acá, se siente. Se siente una carga un poco pesada, qué sé yo. ¡Eh! ¡Eh! ¡Qué mierda! La linterna. ¿Qué pasó? ¡Qué mierda! ¡Eh! Hey, ¡Eh! Hey. ¿Quién es? ¿Quién anda ahí? It's just crazy what's going on, man. I don't know if I'll be able to, be able to stay in a place like that, honestly. Hola! Que mierda, anda ahí la concha de su madre! And with that, Javier is done. He leaves the house and to this day, he claims that he has no explanation for what happened inside. Bro, his, his friend got possessed or something, or he died tragically and has a haunted, angry spirit, so it's haunted now. It's that house is haunted because of that situation. A house without history. A family living in Kansas City, Missouri are away from home one night when their Nest security camera captures something truly bizarre. A shadow-like figure about the height of a child can be seen moving from the upstairs bedroom. The figure doesn't appear to walk or run, but rather float at a high speed before it just disappears into thin air. A small childlike voice can be heard calling out, help. The family has never experienced anything paranormal before, so they have no idea just what this could be. The house was only built 15 years ago, and they've searched online, but they can't find any strange history about the house or land. So crazy, huh? just what is this? Let me know what you think. Here's one thing you need to do before you buy anything. 
Did you guys just hear a bang? I don't know if that's me or because I was just in my closet. Online. Don't spend another dime on Amazon until you watch this first. Watch this. We need scary videos. So if you see anything that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The uninvited guest. A family on Rote Island in Indonesia. Send them them videos. Send them them. Dot com. Send them them videos, bro. Them scary videos over here. And that boy needs them. He can make some more content like this. I can make more of some like this. Y'all got some. The uninvited guest. A family on Rote Island in Indonesia are gathered to celebrate a birthday when one of the guests captures something truly chilling on camera. A strange uninvited guest can be seen looking into the window. You see that, guys? Hell no, I got the perfect. Let's pause. Some little boy looks like a weird shaped bed, or is it just looking downwards? Crazy, huh? Unbelievable. That's crazy. Okay. Window watching the family as they celebrate. Now, without a source, we'll never know exactly what's going on here. So, tell me what you think. <laughs> Cave crisis. Alex Cantrell from the YouTube channel Underground Explorers is invited to explore a cave on his friend's ranch in Texas. But the cave is partially submerged in water, making it very difficult to enter and explore. Now I'm going to go ahead and say that this video is not exactly anything paranormal, but it is very scary and 100% real. It's especially scary if you're even the slightest bit claustrophobic. Now, in accordance with YouTube guidelines, I want to stress, no one was seriously injured in this video. The following footage was recorded by a professional cave diver. Do not attempt to do this yourself. You see that, YouTube? No one was seriously injured in this video. The following footage was recorded by a professional cave diver. Do not attempt this, but do not attempt to do this by yourself. By a professional cave diver. Do not attempt to do this yourself. All right, so Alex is joined by a few of his friends as they begin to explore the frightfully small cave. All right, who's got the oxygen meter? I don't see that. Uh, Look at this. We got an oxygen meter now. So people won't be mad at me. So what all does that show? Carbon monoxide? Uh, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, hydrogen sulfide, and a little oxygen. Cool. Pretty much everything. Yeah. So we've got the action adventure twins here helping us out. As you guys are like, Matt, check the oxygen. Oh, danger levels. Breathe huh? on it a little bit. Danger, danger, danger. danger. It's waterproof. It is, but <laughs> it I don't better think it's be. gonna work too well if like the little intake yeah, that clogs the water. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to keep that thing out of the water. All right, guys, we have made it out to the uh, cave uh, that's on the demolition ranch. Or off the ranch Wait, is it beeping already? Well, see, I immediately dumped it underwater. I told you. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I don't think this is going to uh, give us the accurate. Probably not accurate. Or the water. entire cave has bad air. It might. She's going to do it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, 
Are you guys doing that with your friends? Dude, I have no idea. I'll probably do that, honestly. That looks kind of fun. But only with a group of friends that I trust sincerely. And I know they're pretty smart and shit. Yeah, I'll go with them. For real. Oh! As they work their way deeper and deeper into the cave, the passageway becomes smaller and more claustrophobic. Eventually, there is barely even room to breathe above the murky water. This is when the exploration goes horribly wrong. Dang, bro. Crazy. Now look at the Fabletics One Shorts. I love that they're saying this is intense. Yeah, yeah. Cozy. that makes you heard that yet. Yeah. That makes me feel good because I was scared in here and I'm like, what are these guys just come in and they're like, oh, this is a piece of cake. Let's climb it. Yeah. <laughs> no, this this is a little a little rough. Yeah. <laughs> Up, did not want nothing to do with them, did not want to help them. They was really scared for their own lives, too. You seen that? They was about to dip. Alex's friend and fellow cave explorer Jacob is a little further ahead in a part of the cave that is so submerged that there's barely room to breathe. As he ducks under the murky water, Jacob becomes confused and panics, breathing in a mouthful of the dirty water. In a terrified frenzy, he tries to back out of the cave as fast as he can, but he slams into Alex, dragging him underwater too. Luckily, Did you guys see anything? I don't know, I didn't see nothing. The two guys make it out safely, with only a few scratches to remind them of the terrifying incident. This video once again goes to show that sometimes people, even your own friends, can be much scarier and more dangerous than anything paranormal. And I don't know about you, but just watching them in that cramped little tunnel gave me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> now, you can watch this entire exciting cave exploration and many more over on the YouTube channel, Underground Explorers, hiding under the bed. In another creepy video shared to TikTok without a source, a man is woken up in the middle of the night by a strange thumping sound coming from under his bed. What are you guys doing if you hear something like that come from the, underneath your bed? At the middle of the night too? You better be locked and loaded because it's about to go down. What happens next is absolutely horrifying. <laughs> the man looks under his bed but sees nothing that could explain the mysterious thumping. But then a horrific Hey, something's hurting my arm right now. I don't know what it is. Feel like my bones, honestly. What the hell? 
What was that? Focus up with you, bro. You thought I was failing you? You're a bunch. Duh, duh, I ate it for lunch. Pop a pill and run it up. Like a quarter pounder, like a butter. Eat the apple powder. Oh, fuck that. Thing comes sliding out from under his bed, and the video cuts. Now, I'm in no way claiming that this video is real, but it is definitely very creepy. And, real or not, uh, can you believe that? I'll leave that for you. That's crazy. That's straight up. That's, that's fake, though. You can tell it's fake. You to decide. The Haunted USS Salem. Seth Borden from the YouTube channel Seth and Chase, Josh from Exploring with Josh, and paranormal investigator Stephen Dillon from Haunted Nights join together as they set out to investigate the many reports of paranormal encounters on board the historic Navy cruiser, the USS Salem. Although the USS Salem was never involved in any military combat, it was often used as an emergency relief ship and gave medical aid to horribly injured victims, both civilians and Navy crewmen. It is said that up to 400 people have died on the USS Salem throughout the years, including men, women, and children. Today, the Grand Historic Ship is preserved as a museum in Quincy, Massachusetts. Many visitors and employees claim to have seen or heard paranormal activity while on board the ship. The ship's caretaker, Don, explains to the group of investigators that one very active spirit on the USS Salem is that of an older sailor who they refer to as Chief. And this is, I think, where the Chief hangs out. You think the Chief is here? Well, I, I think the Chief hangs out in here now. Okay. Uh, so you would say that, like, Chief is the authoritative figure? I would say the Chief is the guardian of the ship. The Chief is, is the man who, who is concerned with people disrespecting the ship and things of that nature. And yeah. When the pandemic first started and I started working at home, I let my, my hair was longer than yours. I mean, it was down to, like, the middle of my back. <laughs> and every time I came aboard, the Chief would yank my hair. Uh, oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Damn it. <laughs> the guys decide to do an EVP session to try to communicate with the ghost known as the Chief. Their recorder captures some very disturbing responses. That's crazy, cause I'm trying to grow my hair out like them. And if I were to go on there, bro, they would be the EV Yankee my hair too. Hell no. <laughs> We are a what? We are something. Dude. Clear as day. Oh, yeah. That's so vocal, yeah, too. Yeah. We do. Oh, we are. Oh, man. We are. Oh, my Crazy as shit ever. What is that last so word? Wild. It's two syllables. Yeah. We are. Uh, we yeah, are amazing. alive. We are something. Do we try? Do we just sit there and try it one more time? Yeah. We because now we've heard them, we can tell them that we can hear you. You know, okay, yeah, 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 yeah it's it's right there. Back. All right, I'm gonna do it again. We heard you say we are something. We can't understand you. Can you repeat yourself? We are what? What do you guys think he said? Honestly, what do you guys think he said? Um, yeah. Can the chief come down here and talk to us? Chief, if you're here watching us, can you tell us your name? Oh my god, it did it again. Bro, I don't even want to film, but like, if this is, this is Every question. Oh my god. No. Bro, I don't want to film. That oh my god. Oh, we got some. Yeah? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta show you this. I'm never one to, like, show off evidence to, like, people until, like, we leave, but, like, I, I, I just want, I just want to show you this. Yeah, we want, like, the raw yeah. reaction to this. Yeah, we've heard that before. You've heard? Didn't get pissed off like this before? The group believes that they might have made contact with the entity known as the Chief. 
and it seems that they have really pissed him off. Next. Chat, you think that's real? You think that's real or what? They investigate the mess hall, a large room that is said to be where the chief appears the most. Using an Ovilus device and an EVP recorder, the group questions the spirits that haunt the ship. And this is when things get downright creepy. Who's following us here? And why are you screaming? Helpless. Helpless. They're helpless. Oh, we're helpless. That's way worse. <laughs> Some touch it. My hair just got touched. I literally just felt my hair get He flipped. said every time he came out of here, he got his hair pulled when he had long hair. My, my hair was longer than yours. I mean, it was down to like the middle of my back. <laughs> and every time I came aboard, the chief would yank my hair. Oh, hair. If you saw it. Chad, you think that's real? You guys think that's real that he really be doing that? Yanking his people's hair and stuff? Let me know in the comments down below. I on camera, but I, I felt it. Holy shit. That one went down. Yeah, it will mind you. Oh, good point. Flashlight's on. Flashlight's on. Just like what happened to the ship's caretaker, Don, something seems to touch Seth's hair. But that's not all they captured. Now, before this next clip, it should be mentioned that the ghost of a young girl and her mother are also said to haunt the USS Salem. When the explorers review their footage, it seems like they might have been... Hair down to here, straight up like that, boom, 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 same. White looking. Remember that, with the ghost look like that. Encountered one of these spirits without even knowing. Maybe we should. Alice. Alice? Alice? Alice. The woman's name, right after we heard a woman's voice. Did you see it? If you watch closely, you can see a figure that looks like a girl in a long skirt walking in the background. Alice. Alice? Alice? Alice. Alice. The woman's name, right after. You think that's real, everyone? Look at that. You see a clear as day back there. If you can't see it, it's right back here. Just watch. After we heard a woman's voice. Alice? Alice? Alice. 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 Right after we heard a woman's voice. So did the group make contact with the chief? Or, well, did the chief make contact with Seth? And is this the ghost of one of the women who haunt the ship? I leave it up to you to decide. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channels, Seth and Chase, Exploring with Josh, and Haunted Nights. The waiting. All right, guys, we're gonna end it there. Hopefully you guys like what I'll be doing, man. It's one of, this is one, this is a new thing I want to start doing, you know. It'd be very fun for me, I think, you know. I feel like it'd be super fun playing and stuff but yeah uh, I mean just reaction to videos you know all right peace out